Okay, so Apple will be releasing iPhone 14 very soon, and along that they will also be releasing iOS 16, which is the new operating system for these phones and the old phones as well. And I've been trying the beta for, I know, two weeks now maybe, and these are the four main new features that I've found that even your parents will love to use. So the first one is an oldie but a goldie. It is the battery percentage. It has returned to the iPhones with the notch. And it's been available on the notchless, notchless iPhones uh, always. But you go into settings and you scroll down to battery and then you just turn on battery percentage and you can see that the battery percentage shows up in the battery icon. That is great. And the second feature I want to show you is also under settings but uh, under sounds and haptics and you scroll down you click keyboard feedback and you activate haptic feedback this makes the iPhone not vibrate but there's an haptic engine that simulates uh, a click uh, on a button so it feels in your hand like you're clicking an actual button when you're typing on the keyboard which is great for everyone who uses the iPhone like I am with it on mute always because then you don't see uh, have the keyboard sound effect but you can still now feel the keyboard clicks in your hand super nice and the third feature is the one that I think most people have been you know seen and been most excited about for iOS 16 and that is the lock screen and uh, to customize the lock screen you go into settings you scroll down to wallpaper and then you can hit customize here and this brings up this screen where you have similar like the uh, Apple Watch complications are you know customizable you can click on the top here and you can change it to see your calories and workout stuff you can also click on the time and you can change the font and the color of everything let's make it all purple Yay, that's not at all good. Let's make it pink like that. And we can add widgets. This is the, the main great new feature of iOS 16 for most people, not really for me, but this is a step in the correct direction, definitely. But uh, we can add like three complications. Okay, that's it. I mean, I would really love to have, have a second row of complications if I want to. Uh, but this area down here is dedicated for notifications and you know music playback controls and so on. There's also this deep effect uh, option here that on certain image can allow parts of the image to actually be in front of the complications and time. If, if you have a portrait of someone, you can hit that and the person will be in front of everything. I'm not sure really why you would like that because it will obstruct some of the information you clearly want to see, but it's a cool effect nonetheless. So we hit done here, a cool feature here on customize on the apps, background for the apps. You have a blur effect here, which means if you have a picture of someone or flowers or whatever that have a lot of detail and you don't want that detail to you know compete with the apps so you can't really see which apps you have and you can hit the blur and it will just blur it all out and it's a lot easier to see your apps so i'm going for that and that's it for the third feature and the fourth feature is my favorite by far and it has to do with photos so I've got, you know, everybody takes a lot of photos with their iPhone. And I am one of those people who like to edit the photos on the native photo app. Uh, and I think that a lot of people do as well. So the new feature here is that if we take this picture here, we want to edit it. And let's just add a little bit of warmth to this picture. And we would add a little bit of brightness and add some shadows okay I think that th that's great uh, it's not really great but let's just assume that is great and then we hit done so that picture is the editor picture and now we can tap and hold it we can copy edits and we can now select all the others of like yeah obviously you need to for this to work in a good manner you need to have photos that are similar or 
Usually that's how it works, but then you just tap and hold and paste edits. And it now has edited all of these images with the same edits that you did to the first one. That is to me the best feature of iOS 16. It will save me so much time because I usually take 45 photos of the same thing. And if I go to edit web, you see one of them one by one, they will not look the same. Uh, so this is the four features I think everybody will love about iOS 16. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have learned something. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.